Hi, this is Dr. Desmond White, a gastroenterologist and hepatologist. I want to talk about different insurance company. I spoke about uh, 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 how we people can claim insurance for their uh, admission, life or scope or for other problem. Uh, in Singapore, there are many major in this, uh, uh, insurance player. Let me highlight a little bit, highlight a little bit from my personal experience, okay? So I'm on the panel of AIA, Prudential, Income, Great Eastern. I am not on the panel for uh, AXA and Aviva. Uh, personally, I feel that the fees are too low and I don't want to be involved. But if a patient comes in there on AXA and Aviva, even though I'm not on the panel, uh, they have this system called the extended, extended panel system, whereby uh, I can still uh, uh, do the procedure according to the fee schedule and they can still claim usually. There's some fine print that patients have to check with the insurance company. So the, if, you're, if your intercular shield plan is on AIA, Great Eastern, Prudential, and, uh, uh, and Great Eastern, and I'm on the panel, you come and see me, normally, the, most of the time, the claiming will not be a problem. So the, but different insurance companies have a slightly different. AIA, we need to do a pre-authorization. So I will take the patient's name, uh, IC number, and the date of birth, I would submit something online. We do it together to submit online. I will basically tell AIA why I need to do the scope, what I need to do for the patient, uh, and also how much that will cost. The fees are actually fixed by AIA, so the fees are not a problem. I just have to justify to AIA that I need to get you admitted for a scope. AIA would usually let me know the answer, yes or no, we can cover, we don't cover, how much do we cover? Usually AIA get back very quickly, within 24 hours usually. If they're queried, they can ask me, hey, why you want to do a score, blah, 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 then we just answer. But AA come back very quickly. If it is income, NTC income, then you don't need a pre-authorization. Usually, we just do whatever we think is right. Usually, no issue, okay? Yeah. And then uh, Prudential, uh, a little bit strange. Prudential, the scope and admission, the different type of prudential, under prudential plan. Some, the really premium plan, they can get admitted anywhere, okay? But the but one particular prudential plan that the scope must be done in certain locations, such as Mount Avenue Hospital, Breakfast Hospital that I don't go to, or it can be done at a day surgery center, like Novena Surgical Center. So for certain prudential uh, a policy holder, I can't scope them in Mangi Novena because the insurance won't pay. If I cross the road to scope them in Novena, medical center just opposite in a day surgery place called Novena Surgery is at level 8 and then I can claim but if I scope them in this hospital mine Novena they can't claim so for those with, but there's some prudential plan that allow me to scope them in this hospital so sometimes I'm also confused so some sometimes prudential they need a pre they need to have a pre-authorization but sometimes the procedure of admission must be in Mount Avenue or in a particular day surgery okay Last one is Great Eastern. Great Eastern does not limit which hospital I admit them to, but Great Eastern, we need to get a pre-authorization like AIA. But the Great Eastern pre-authorization, for my limited experience, take a long time, take a week, sometimes two weeks. So I have a patient that I saw, a Great Eastern patient, I say, you need a scope, patient agreed, we list them for a scope seven days later. But for the seven days later, the pre-authorization has not been approved, nor rejected. It's still pending for approval. Then the patient got a problem. If you come to, if you have submitted the pre-authorization process, and the patient, uh, but they haven't gotten back from the insurance, yes or no, and patient don't know whether I should pay first and claim later, or I should wait for them to get the pre-authorization approval and then do it. So, Greystone patient, when I see them, I tell them that Greystone pre-approval for my limited experience. Okay, it may not be reflective of the real situation. Take a long time, take two weeks. So let's schedule the scope two weeks later, so that you don't you have a peace of mind that when you come, the 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 procedure is covered by the pre-authorization. These are only for the uh, for the elective procedure. If it's emergency, you go through the A and E. You have severe pain. You vomit blood. Of course, you don't have to wait for two weeks. Okay. So to sum up, actually, I always tell my patient I can do what I think is right for you. I roughly know different insurance, a different policy. I try to help you to make the claim, make the pre-authorization uh, application. But the process can be complex. The approval process can be complex, and you have to check. Patient have to check with the insurance company. I do the best with my best experience. So to sum up. AA, we apply the pre-authorization, very quickly we get the answer within a day. So I can scope them two or two, three days later, no problem. If it's Great Eastern, I tell them that please, schedule the scope two weeks later because I won't get the answer within 
I hardly get an answer within the week. Most of the time, one to two weeks, rarely after two weeks for Great Eastern. Income, no need pre-authorization, just do the right thing. Can do it the same day or the next day, no problem. Prudential have to be sure we need a pre-authorization. We also need to uh, perform the procedure, the scope at a particular uh, Prudential approved uh, location. Having said, to make it more complex, all these companies have many different policies within the same company. Some allow them to see private, some allow them, some only pay for them. You see, restructure, they have to have a better, bigger copay in private. It can be quite complex. So I would advise that when you, when you are free, check with your insurance agent, check with, check with your insurance company about what type of policy you have, where can you seek help, how long is the pre-authorization process, uh, any issue of if you go to private hospital. You don't really want to go to a and &E at a private hospital, admitted, get it treated, and later you get a bomb surprise from your insurance saying, sorry, we don't cover your admission because you did not follow the rules that we told you when you buy the insurance. And most of the time, a patient can't remember about the, the time when they buy the insurance, okay? So do check with the insurance company about the insurance clinic part. As doctor, we do the best, we try to do the best for patient. This is Dr. Desmond White. Thank you.